Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles. How many times have you gone to a LAN party and you look like this walking in the front door, right? There has got to be a better way, right? There's got to be a better way. Hey, what's up, guys and gals? Today we are reviewing a new product by DOS Keyboard. Now, I really like this company. I own a lot of their products. Um, as a matter of fact, right here, I have their Hack Shield backpack, which I use every day to haul my MacBook Pro 17 and my Lenovo X1 back and forth to work. And uh, it's a fantastic bag. The build quality on it's amazing. So I was pretty excited when I heard they were coming out with a new bag, and this one was targeted at LAN gamers. So for those of you that are unfamiliar, LAN gamers are the guys that like to pack up their big, beastly, heavy-ass machine and their monitors, hoof it over to their friend's house or some public venue, drink a lot of beer, usually, depending on your age, and uh, frag the hell out of each other and try not to break anything in the process. So one of the cool things about LAN parties is you get to, t you get to utilize the full potential of your computer, right? You're not using a laptop because people take laptops to LAN parties. Come on, a laptop will never beat out a desktop, ever. Yes, could a laptop beat out a crappy desktop? Yes, but I mean, if they're both high-end, no way is the laptop going to touch it. And if you guys prove me wrong, just put it in the comments, and I'll deny it. But anyways, <laughs> back on track. This bag is targeted at LAN gamers. So the whole point of this bag is to have a convenient solution for storing your keyboard, your headphones, your software, your mouse, uh, some game controllers, some other little doodads, all in a nice compact location you can sling over your shoulder so when you're carrying your monitor and your computer to the LAN party, you're not making 20 trips and you're not dropping crap all over the place. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. All right, just like my Hack Shield backpack, this thing came completely sealed in plastic, which I like a lot. Let's go ahead and open it up. It's almost like a garment bag. And I can see right away that it looks just like the hack shield i mean they're they're obviously designed the same exact way try to get you guys a good look at it you can see it from the front here it's got that nice rubberized textured finish so you don't get it all banged up on everything and it's got a nice pad for your back and it actually looks identical to the hack shield which i really really like and it's got a large adjustable band on it it's really broad up here at the shoulder so we'll go ahead and try it on here in a little while but let's take a look inside first All right, so it looks like here on the end, we just have one little zipper that opens across the whole thing. And then we can flip it open here at the top. And you can see right away there's some foam in it for transport. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Bye-bye foam and silica beads. Uh, these are fun to eat. No, I'm just kidding. Do not eat. It even says right on the package. Do not eat. Uh, so you can look at it opening it up right away. It's got a place with a strap for your keyboard right here so you can strap your keyboard down it's got a place for your headphones it's got a pocket for your mouse and then it's got a fold over that's got a place for your dvds uh with all your games and your software and then up here at the top it's got an extra utility pouch that runs about three quarters of the length of the pack and it's got two velcro pockets that open up actually it's two velcro pockets per little velcro latch over and one big pocket so it's got a big pocket sorry two little pockets the Velcro, then it's got the one big pocket up here at the top, a place for your software, a place for your keyboard, mouse, and headset. So let's go ahead and uh, fill this thing up and see how it looks. All right, first and foremost, let's go ahead and put our DOS keyboard in. You can sit right there. It almost looks like it was designed for it <laughs> because it most definitely was. So now you got your keyboard strapped down. Plenty of room for your cable right next to it. That looks pretty sharp. And just to let you guys know, just like all my videos, this isn't scripted, so I do make some mistakes along the way. Bear with me. All right, let's take our Sennheiser HD 800 headphones. These are about the biggest headphones you can get and put them in there. If you guys know of a bigger headphone, let me know. But these, so far, out of all the headphones I own, these are by and large the biggest. Wrap up the cable. It's got a 10, 10 foot cable. Ooh, I got a little, a little bit tangled up there. Uh oh, the audio files are really gonna get on me for that. They, they don't like it when you abuse these headphones. These are like the holy grail headphones. Here's my Microsoft Explorer mouse. It's actually not a gaming mouse, but it's really comfortable and it's what I put in my LAN kit. So you can see that mouse sits right in there very nicely. Again, just coil up the cable, set it on top. That looks good. Pull down the flap, we've got our software flap right here. I just got to find some CDs. 
Now for authenticity's sake, we're gonna take some unlabeled CDs and put them in there because we all know what you guys are doing at those LAN parties. Don't even deny it. Um, if a CD has a label on it, chances are you didn't put it in here. And now we've got some additional bags up here for some stuff. Um, they're pretty shallow though. Like, I mean, you could probably get a controller in there. Like here, we'll put the OUYA controller in there. We'll put an Xbox 360 controller in there and close that up. And then the pockets on the front, uh, you just use those for cables, it looks like. So if you have USB cables and such. So let's go ahead and close this up. Grab the zipper here. And now it's filled. Let's go ahead and try it on. All right, well, we got everything in there. It's nice and snug. Nothing's moving around, which is nice because people get mad when you break $1,400 headphones. <laughs> now, ideally, you're going to be using a lot smaller set. I just wanted to use an example of the largest headphones I had. And then when you're ready, you just put the sling over your back like that. It's form-fitting right across your shoulder there. And you see it stays in nice and, tuck, nice and tight to your back so you can carry a monitor and you can carry a computer. And if you're like me and you're a bigger guy, the old man booby will hold it right in place there for you. You don't have to worry about it coming undone. <laughs> nice man boobs, Barnacles. Nice. But in a nutshell, this is actually really cool. So I've got my keyboard. I've got my mouse. I've got my headphones. I've got my software cables and an Xbox controller and an OUYA controller. So you could put whatever you wanted in there. Your Zim Edge, your Xbox controller, another mouse. Um, it's all on my back. So now if I wanted to... I can even take my other backpack, which is my hack shield, and I can still sling it over my shoulder because it's out of the way. So now if I wanted to, I could take two bags with me, which is kind of cool. And I still got enough uh, hold here to hold a monitor and a computer, a small computer case. Or if I had to, I could carry my ginormous computer case. <laughs> and uh, my monitors are 46 inch, so if I wanted to take those to the land party, that'd be a couple trips to the car. But still, this is a very nice organized way to keep everything together and everything safe the bag is heavily padded so you don't have to worry about ruining anything it's really cool so let's go ahead and try to put a couple different varieties of peripherals in it just to show you some larger keyboards all right so just in the interest of diversity let's go ahead and open this up and take out the dos keyboard because the dos keyboard is big but it's not a huge keyboard let's take my largest keyboard i own which is a microsoft natural multimedia keyboard 1A, this thing's huge. It's got the giant wrist rest. It's a natural keyboard. We're going to try to get this in there. Now, honestly, people probably wouldn't use this one for gaming, but I'm curious if we can actually get it in there. Now, the first thing I notice is the straps don't necessarily reach on this one, but this is a freaking huge keyboard, guys. So just to let you know, if you have a keyboard that's roughly the size of the Death Star, it probably won't fit. So just make a note of that. Now let's go ahead and pull out the HD 800 headphones. And let's try some more conventional cans, like the MMX 300s by Bear Dynamic. Those fit perfectly. I've also gotten some Triton technology, 7.1 headsets. Those fit, no problem. And for the person who's on a budget, here are the Monoprice DJ headphones. These are actually, they're uncomfortable, but they're pretty decent for the price. They're like 20 bucks, and those fit in there no problem too. So it'll fit any headphone you throw at it, seriously. Actually, there's one pair of cans I have to try that's actually, I think, even bigger than the Sennheisers, and that's the Hi-Fi Man HE 500s. If you see somebody rocking these at a LAN party, they're a true audiophile. Or just a dumbass with a lot of money. So anyways, and those fit fine too. So these will fit absolutely any headphones you have. The mouse slot, this is actually a really large mouse. The Microsoft mouse is. Because if you look at it next to like the Corsair M65, it's a lot smaller. So you're going to be able to fit any, just about any mouse in there. Um, the software, it looks like you could put multiple CDs in each of these sleeves, no problem. Again, there's quite a bit of room for cables. So like for your audio cables, your USB cables and such like that. And we even got two controllers in there, which was really cool. So all in all, I think this is a cool product. I don't know if anybody else produces a product like this, which is one of the things I really like about it is it's unique. You know, I don't know if anybody else creates a targeted product. If they do, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. But for now, this is pretty damn cool. Well, guys, I hope this gave you nerdgasm. This is a really cool product. Now I just got to find a LAN party to go to because a lot of you guys have been getting on me like, 
maybe head down to PDX land in Oregon for their next offering. Um, and I'm going to take this thing down there and put it to the real test. So guys, I haven't had any problems with my hack shield too, by the way, my other backpack has been phenomenal and this looks like it's the exact same build quality. So I'm really thrilled with it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up, leave any questions down below, you know, I'll answer them. And until next time. Nice man boobs, Barnacles. Nice. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.